Hi, Grandma's hands. This is Saturday morning. A brisk Saturday morning. It is 57 degrees. And I'm out here doing my pest check. And I only found one pest. And that was a stink bug up here in these cayenne peppers. But he went overboard. Anyway, these are the things that I just dropped on the 4th. And today, I believe it's the 7th, so three days. So these are the radishes. So as you know, I have been struggling with radishes this year. So hopefully I get something out of these right here. Nothing's happening with the Swiss short. And I dropped some bok choys, pok choys over here in this corner. I can see them starting to come up. And it looks like in a day or two, I'll have another okra. And then you can't, let me see if you can see down there. There is a second okra tree down there and it looks like something's coming up, but it's so tiny they probably won't produce okay this swiss short i'm thinking about harvesting some of this and just you know blanching it and sticking it in the freezer because i like to mix a little tender greens with my big greens and i want to get to it before anything starts to munch on it so i'll probably grab a few of those bigger beans and I think these, like the, like I said, something has been slithering across these. So I'll probably rip these up. Oh, I don't know if that's mold or something been slithering over it. You all let me know because you know I'll rip stuff up in a minute. Because I really don't want to eat it if, uh, if something's been slithering on it. Even though I have not found anything on them but that does not mean there's it there's not anything on them but i have not found anything on them okay i got one little squash in there that doesn't seem like it wants to do anything i have tons of flowers on these beans so i hope to get some beans i have flowers on these beans over here my bell peppers are still coming along. These are the um, spicy Cajun bell. I had the two bigger ones. I took them off and shipped them to Mike's Chaotic Garden because he wanted seeds. So I just sent him the whole little pepper so he can get his own seeds out of that. Okay, I don't know if this is done for the year. I do see a lot of flowers, but if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if these hot pepper trees, let me see what this is, really Anaheim's. So I don't know how well they do in the cool weather, but I'm sure it's not going to stay cool. I'm sure we'll have some more hot days before it's over with, <coughs> excuse me. And over here, I have more um, tons of white flowers on these beans over here. So I hope to get some beans from there. And this is my tiny little fall garden. That's the kale. Um, the, uh, what is that? the graham wear mustard greens have a little bit of chihemicides just a few of them coming up that's this roll right here then the tat soys that's this roll right here so i came to see was any more army worms in here and there wasn't so but like i said i think it's too cold and uh I'm sure this aloe vera has to probably go in the house, which I'm not happy about that because I know it's probably full of bugs. 
um, and all of this stuff. This is my cinnamon basil. I'm waiting for that to go to seed. This is my spearmint. And is this considered trying to go to seed? I don't know, but I'm leaving that to go to seed. I have two more months before I can harvest my turmeric, but I am going to take off some of those green leaves that haven't gotten truly brown yet so I can use them for tea. Uh, the sweet potatoes, it's died back pretty good, but it still has another whole month to go. I'm not to harvest that till around October 30th. Uh, this, I don't know if I could still harvest that. It looked like it's just dried out, which is gonna end up getting dried out anyway. But if I could still harvest off of that, I will. This other turmeric down here, it's even starting to uh, push its way through down there. This, I'm going to definitely boil this pot out. This is what had my mullein in it. And my mullein didn't do half as well as it did last year. I did get some, but it produced all the way through the winter. But this one looked like something had slithered and slimed all over it. And I did dig through it and pull it out. About five of these little reddish brown worms. And I don't know if that was the case, but so I'm going to boil that out really good and then just amend it well for the next season. And my ginger, I think I'll harvest that around the same time I do my turmeric since they both were planted at the same time. There's more ginger down there. I've been harvesting a lot of this green onion tops. And I probably won't get any more of this oregano. It may, every time I think it's gone, it bounce back up. So if it does, I'll grab it because you do know that is an antibiotic. And this rosemary, I've harvested a lot off of this. It looked like it just stays wet all the time. And I know it does not like water but I have it up under, you know, this part right here. So too much rain won't get into it. And then I emptied the bucket up under it to make sure, you know, it wasn't a lot of water in there and it wasn't, but for some reason it stays wet all the time. So it probably would have produced better than that had it not stayed so wet. Okay, you all. I've been out here long enough in this cold. I will check back with you all again. For some reason, I don't know if this is a YouTube thing or if it's my phone, but YouTube will not let me download but once a day. Somebody let me know have they been going through this. It will only let me download once a day. So if you all get some things and I say that and you it's one day and then you all don't see it till the next day or whatever, it's because it will not let me download and it will only let me download one thing once a day. So I don't know if it's my phone. I don't know if it's YouTube, but if anyone else have heard of such a thing, let me know. And this basil last year, and every other year, I have to give basil away to keep it from going to waste. I've heard other people say they didn't do well with basil either this year, but I am so disappointed. You all know I love basil. And it has not given me much of a play at all. So I'm definitely, I definitely have some growing in the hydroponics. So, oh, let me get these off this before the wind blow them down. I was about to head in the house, running from this cold. Okay, so you all be blessed. I harvested all of that lemon that's by seed and dehydrated it. So I'll have that in a mason jar whenever I want to put a lemon in my tea. Be blessed, you all. I pray for you, you pray for me, and we'll watch God change things. God bless everybody.